is it really me flying high above that tree? And now in the deep blue sea, ah, how can it be that I am this free? I'm in a hot air balloon once, and it was an unforgettable experience. The calm, quiet peace of floating through the air, beauty surrounding above and below. I can only imagine that when it's time to shed this human body, and that there will be such an incredible peace and joy as I fly to meet my next adventure. Not that I'm trying to rush it now, mind you, but just cont contemplating what will eventually happen with all of us. We're only here for a minute in the grand scheme of things. Some complain of getting older and tired. Some in their youthful state live as if they will never die. And some, like myself, just go with the flow and know that what will be, will be. I like to check in with the angels when I'm in such a philosophical state of being to get their input and guidance. As I did so, they handed me a box, which I found quite fascinating. Angels, I proclaimed, I've always thought of life as being circular. So I'm not sure what you're showing me here. Dear ones, indeed, life is a series of transitions, of ups and downs, of meeting yourself as you round a curve. Many times you go through a fire and think you have found clarity only to come face to face with a similar circumstance and standing right back where you started. In that respect, you are living your life in a circular fashion. Many of you cry out, let me off this merry-go-round. You're only looking at what seems to be reality, and you get caught up in the prison you have encountered as a result of choices that led you down that path or in the imaginings of your own mind's creation. Many of you choose to avoid the path altogether and turn away at the first sign that you are repeating a behavior that did not turn out well. Kudos to you, but dear ones, it is important to process the experience and place it in the box of lessons learned. When you refuse to do the deeper dive of introspection and meditation, you find yourself spinning on the merry-go-round with no way to stop the momentum other than to jump, which can be quite hazardous. You are here on purpose, dear ones. You chose to come into your existence after much deliberation and readying yourself for the journey. You knew you would only be on that journey for a short time, that it is not a forever home. You also knew that you had free will and the ability to connect with those who would help you through the experience. You each have a box to fill. The lessons and the blessings all go in the box. The insights you gain lead to the blessings inside your heart. When your heart is full, indeed, it is similar to the experience of flying, floating, soaring, diving. When you are ready, your heart will lead you through the final transition and you will remember how to fly because you've done it before. Fill your box, live your life you came here to live, and fly hungry. I am filled with so much gratitude as I look now at the box the angels handed me. It is very full of memories, of love, of many fires and many triumphs. It is full of tears and full of compassion. 
and lots and lots of love and laughter. I am left with only one thought. Stay in your heart. Stay blessed. <laughs>